Today on Tom's DIY, we are going to be making mounts for wheels that'll go on a piano. Let's take a look. When I was first asked to do this project, I thought the best way to do it would be to build a frame under the piano and then put the casters under that. But if we did that, then it would raise the piano off the ground a good bit. Because steel right now is absolutely ridiculously expensive, I wanted to make sure that this idea was going to work. Building it out of cardboard was a great option. I am just using a piece of tape here to hold the shape together while I construct the rest of it. Now that we have all the cardboard parts cut out, I'm going to start assembling it and I'm just going to use some gaff tape to hold it all together. It doesn't need to be structurally sound, this is just something that I can use to take back to the location and make sure that everything's going to fit. Once we were completely happy with the design, I took the design into Fusion 360 and then took those files over into SheetCam to do the cam work. Having a CNC plasma cutter has made projects go a lot faster. All of the parts here you could easily make with an angle grinder, but this just makes it go a lot faster and makes all the parts repeatable. I modified my original Crossfire Pro so that I could cut full 4x4 foot sheets of sheet metal. This made things go a lot faster. The the way the table comes is great, but when I was trying to make a lot of fire pits, it just made a lot more sense to upgrade. Alright, just gonna grind the uh, dross off of here. I love this magnet, just gonna turn it off, right? Turn it back on. I find the wire wheel works a lot better than the flap discs, because flap discs are expensive and this isn't. If you watched our last video on building the goblet fire pit card up here, you can go watch that video. We're going to do something similar where we cut a slot in the metal to make the bending process a little bit easier. If you guys like the content you're seeing on this channel, do me a favor and go down and smash that subscribe button and like button. Also, leave me a comment, let me know how you would design this part. There's a million ways to make something like this. It's always nice to learn from somebody else of how they would do it. We have our brackets bent, now we're going to start putting the caster plates on. I have just these magnets on and I use this square to set my depth on each side. So we're just going to put some tacks on before we add the gussets.
trying to rotate the part a little bit so that I make sure I'm not uh, overheating or warping anything the best I can. I am using Harbor Freight's Vulcan Omni 220 multi-process welder. This is the only welder I've ever had and it's worked really well for me. I'm actually only using the auto set settings. Now that we have them all kind of cleaned up and cooled down with some water, I'm just going to wipe them down with some acetone before we go ahead and paint them with some black paint. Hit each one up with some primer before we paint it. Of course, it's all coming in my face because of the fan behind the camera. So the primer's dried, we're going to put some uh, black paint on here. Try not to go too heavy, don't want to have ugly runs. Over at the location now, I am just pre-drilling the holes and using some lag bolts into the side of the piano, and that really does a great job. One thing I wish I would have thought about, noticed as I was designing, instead of putting the holes perfectly 90 degrees to each other, which did not work very well, obviously, I should have offset them a little more. But honestly, with the amount of black bolts I have in this thing, it's not going anywhere, and it'll do the job just fine.